you know, it was on Facebook. I, there was this little clip about, I think it was over in Saudi Arabia where it was some American over there dropping his billfold deliberately. And every time one of these guys would pick it up and give it back to him, you know, he'd drop it again, pick it up and give it back to him. Do you know why that's true? It's because over there, if you're caught stealing, they cut off your hand. And they say you never see one of these guys walking around with both hands cut off. Uh, you just never see that. But um, Now, I know that's harsh. That, that sounds harsh. Let's see what the Bible says about this subject of stealing. First of all, let's deal with man's law on theft. You know, you may get 10 years in prison uh, at the expense of the citizens. Uh, but let's notice Exodus 22 and verse 4. Uh, I'm reading from the ISV version here. If what was stolen is actually found alive in his possessions, whether it be an ox or a donkey or a sheep, he is to repay double. Now, this was an agrarian society. This is how they made their livings. And this is why it's referred to, you know, they didn't have color TVs back then. But um, <clears throat> so it's, it's referring to the animals here. So let's, let's bring it up in our society. If a man steals a TV, okay, he pays back double. So if someone steals your TV, you get two TVs. That's pretty cool, I think. I like that. This is, this is God's justice system here. <clears throat> All right, Exodus 22 and verse 1. If a man steal, uh, shall steal an ox or a sheep and kill it or sell it, he shall restore five oxen for an ox and four sheep for a sheep. Now, why the difference between the two beasts? Well, because one was more productive. Obviously, the ox was more productive here. So, you know, I mean, in other words, you judged it based on what was more productive. You know, in our work, we do masonry work, stone work. We have wheelbarrows and we have cement mixers. So if you got if someone stole your wheelbarrow, you know, that's, that's less production there. The cement mixer is more productive. So if someone stole a wheelbarrow, you know, they, they, you'd replace four. And if someone sold your mixer, which is more highly productive uh, because it's a machine, you know, all that, you get five of them back. Okay, now how was this handled? Who paid for this? All right, <clears throat> let's continue on. Exodus 22 and verse 3. If he has nothing, then he shall be sold. In other words, if he can't pay it back. If he can't pay it back, he shall be sold for his theft. Now, back then, slavery was allowed. You could be sold as a slave. And God had certain laws about owning a slave, how to treat them. But in other words, if you didn't have the money to pay it back, you would be sold as a slave and you had to work until the debt was paid. Work teaches skills. It improves behavior. It reduces the tendency for crime. We all know this. All right. Deuteronomy 17 and verse 12. And the man that will do presumptuously and will not hearken unto the priests that stands to minister there before the Lord, thy God, or unto the judge, even that man shall die, and shall, and so shall you put evil, the evil from away from, is, from Israel. In other words, if the, if the thief says, I'm not going to work. I'm not, I refuse to work. I just want my three hots and a cot in prison or whatever, and that's where I want to be. If he refuses to do this, you put him to death. Hey, he's got a choice. He can work and pay back <clears throat> four times what he stole or five times what he stole from the individual. He, he has that choice. He can work and pay it back or he can be put to death. That's his choice. And it only costs $86 to put someone to death by lethal injection. That's not a bad price at all. This is God's divine law is what we're talking about here. <clears throat> 